What is good? Sorry, I got a text on the screen. I got so many drafts going on. I don't the music know. is the key. Q- I know, the I Q-ing. know. I just, there's so many things going on right now. My, it's just crazy. Drafts everywhere. Startups, rookies, whatever. But Jimmy G, wait, are we talking about, are we going to talk about uh, Deshaun? No, thank God. But something that happened that I didn't think was going to happen, I wasn't sure how this was going to play out, happened. And it was, it's all, it was all the rage right now. It's like, you know, you know a yo-yo. Um, is that not topical? Yo-yos are not all the rage anymore. Used to love what a the good, fuck's a yo-yo? Used to love a good yo-yo. <laughs> Walk the dog. That was never that great at it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have a nice one. You had to get, like, get an expensive one. one. Yeah. yeah. Gotta get a good one. You gotta put it to sleep. I was poor. <laughs> Start snatching yo-yos. Anyway. All right. Jimmy G. All right. So Jimmy the Niners. G. The Niners bring back Jimmy G. And it's like... In some circles, it's like all hell is breaking loose. Like, in some way, they're just like they're, they're just not. Their they're shit. just not going to let Trey Lance just take his lumps. And it's like, no, no, no. Trey Lance is the starter. There is absolutely no way that they didn't sit down and say, "Hey, Trey, Trey? we're bringing back Jimmy. We'd have to cut him. There's no. This is a big good business decision for us." Um, you know, we great, get we can. It's a great move by we the can trade that, they, we can There's trade no them. way they could cut him. We can tra- right. They didn't and, want to cut him. The Seahawks get him. Right. They got a problem. It's terrible. Like, wh- wh- let's let's see if we can get a quarterback hurt or something happen. Now we got till October to try to figure something out. Um, and and Jimmy, I mean, they, I don't know why they he save, did it. They save He's money. Nice guy. They save money as well. Um, right. They, Jimmy's losing money here, which I guess well, if he got cut. So that also kind of tells me that Jimmy signing the deal is basically being like, you know, well, I could have got cut. And it's like, well, then, you know, I feel like him signing the deal saying like, hey, you know, I'll, I'll be a team player in this situation. It's not like he hasn't been there. He hasn't been in the meeting rooms. He hasn't been in practice. He hasn't had a playbook, any of that stuff, which why would he? Um, but now that he's in there, is it not good for Trey Lance to have, like, we always like to have a veteran behind a quarterback to kind of coach him along. Like now Jimmy has no reason not to be in those rooms with him and talk about stuff. Trey's clearly the guy Jimmy's on the way out. So despite whatever thumbnail title combo we come up with for this show, right. this is no indictment on Trey Lance in your opinion as not from look. And I'm not even saying that I'm an, I'm a Niners fan. Um, I'm not even saying that I'm necessarily sold on Trey Lance. This is a tough transition. He's coming from, you know, the FCS level or the F B I always get those FCS level. Um and, and going and, and picking up a, a NFL system and hasn't played a play whole lot. A and, you know, so you know, there's there should be some growing pains. I was fine with him not playing last year. It's time for him to play. It's time for him to go through this, these growing pains. And I'm okay if he's not even great this year. Like, he sat last year. There's a lot going on. You just need to be smart with the football and not turn it over is really the only thing he needs to do. Our defense should be good. Defense should be awesome. They have a really great running scheme. Right. They got a, a stable of guys. You, you throw a running quarterback in there and be safe with your runs. They're going to run the dog shit out of it. They're going to take right. their shots. They're going to be in games. They're going to play smart. They're going to ease them along. There's no there's a no trade clause in Jimmy's thing. So now you're saying, well, what do they do that for? It's basically just saying Well, Jimmy had to get something out of this deal. Right. It's saying that Jimmy has final say in where he goes. But if any team They're not gonna trade him to be a backup, basically. Right. He's if gonna any get team a shot to probably a be a calling. starter. Right. If any team comes a calling to be a starter, I don't know why Jimmy isn't taking that opportunity. And maybe he doesn't want to go to certain places, you know. Which Indianapolis, is, not that fun <laughs> of a city. You know, which, no 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 offense. Which is I guess fair, but, but I think at this point, if any starting job opens up that he's probably gonna take that take that chance but there could be some scenarios where it's just not good they get us they, they're like hey we need a quarterback for the year and then you know and he's maybe the texans and we're like we're gonna get you for a year and it's not the best situation and we're not gonna walk in there and it's not gonna be good for my next contract maybe i'll say no um but you know so it gives you more time to be able to trade jimmy g and not get anything for him it also gives you you have a, a win now team it also gives you if something does happen An to mobile a backup. mobile trey lance a really good backup to then hey come in and say 
hey, we still have a chance to win here. Right. Um, you know, he I, always I saw, did. I saw George Kittle the other day with a quote of like, you know, we've all been around dickheads. Like nobody wants to be around dickheads and we don't have too many dickheads around here. Like basically they've done a good job of getting rid of the dickheads if we have any. And it's like from all points and that I've heard from Jimmy, pretty good guy. And, uh, you know, I think he's coming in there. They're good. Everything's fine. He knows he's the backup. He Trey took knows less he's the money starter. than Trey is getting paid. Like Trey is the, is the starter. Trey doesn't right. have to worry about his job getting taken. Right. There's, but there's a backup plan. Furthermore, if this is what's keeping Trey Lance from being good because he's worried about Jimmy G, Trey's never going to make it. That's just that's ridiculous. Like he's going to buckle if, under if, the if, pressure. If, what do you know about <laughs> pressure? Well, I, I have, have kissed, kissed a man. <laughs> Trey needs to touch up that. Maybe just shave the hair, Bo. Maybe that's Trey? what's holding him back. Yeah, bad, bad yeah, hair. Do whatever you want. I can't speak yeah. on. Didn't whatever. get on the keeps early enough. Maybe just shave that off. Whatever, whatever you want to do with your hair is cool with me. Neither here nor there. <laughs> um, like I said, if if this is what's if what holding Trey back is that Jimmy's there, and then furthermore, this the fan base and people saying oh, like, fans. oh, which you guys were screaming for fucking Trey last year, and now because he's not hasn't played lights out in the fucking preseason, he's a dumpster fire, and there's no he way that he played could be okay good. in the preseason. He's fine, he looked like a basically a Week rookie. One, he had a perfect quarterback rating. Like, if 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 you're so worried about. Oh, well, every time there's ups and downs, the, the fan base is going to be clamoring for Trey to, to bring Jimmy in. And it's like the fan base is Kyle Shanahan and that locker room will be having none of that shit. They don't give a fuck what your fan base was saying, because if they did, Trey Lance would have fucking been in there last year. But he was not. J Kyle Shanahan wouldn't be there if they cared what the fucking fan base right. said. I, I'm insane. about had it with the Niners fan base. Always it's, have had. You guys are the worst. It's it's. <laughs> they're all the fan bases are terrible. When you really get down to it, I pay more What's attention on social media. Anyways. Right. Well, because it's a big brand, so there's it's around a lot, and it's just like, oh, we, Kyle sucks too, and it's like, but Kyle's done nothing but fucking take this team to the playoffs, NFC championships, and Super Bowls. Like before him, after Harbaugh, terrible. Horrible. Then you get Harbaugh. We ran him out of town. We went to the Super Bowl. Horrible. Like, and I, all before Harbaugh. Horrible. Like, just let's relax. Fucking Kyle's a good coach. There's a good scheme. He's going to be just fine. There's no reason for him to go absolutely anywhere. And if Trey Lance doesn't work out, I guess you could say maybe you should fire him. But, like, then everybody bitches about that you ha you have Jimmy and you can't get over the hump. So, you know, you went in and you, you made a move to try to get – Somebody who could take a you to the promised maker. land, like you know, a difference maker, right? A potential difference, a potential maker. difference maker, taking a swing. Who, by the way, might take a little time to mold into what you want. Like, and and hey, we got Clay here. We're trying to mold him. We saw the intangibles were good, and we're trying to mold him. And we want. Who and the I fuck's have faith, Clay? But you're talking about the. Substance. I have I have faith that that they can do that. Like he's not Kyle Shanahan's from, Patrick Swayze, right? And, and <laughs> which one's Whoopi? In? Trey Lance. <laughs> no, he's the Clay. I know. I know. Lynch is Whoopi. That was Lynch is Shanahan, Swayze Lynch. That was some new girl. He go, he oh. Nick keeps getting confused on Dirty Dancing and Ghost. <laughs> right. He's like, wait a minute, which one's Whoopi? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I I, I just I Lynch had to, is P Swayze, Shanahan's Whoopi, Clay's or, Lance's uh, Lance's Clay. Clay. <laughs> yeah, nailed it. That's what I need to figure out how to put on the <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> But man, I just I just fucking can't with with all this of like, oh, the Niners must not have faith in in Trey. I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think this was a, just a good savvy business move of it's like, a hey, beautiful move by the right. Niners. And and He's Jimmy cheaper, wants to play along. Salary. Jimmy wants to be a good soldier. I mean, and maybe he gets in and saves the day, which I'm sure is in the back of his mind because maybe Trey gets fucking hurt. Who knows? Because he runs right and. You shit just, happens. Shit happens. Jimmy's Gotta been have hurt. a good backup quarterback. Right. Look what Foles did for the Eagles. I just, man, it's just, it's so wild to me that that we could just be, you know, that we have to come on here and say this shit. Right. Because it should all be obvious. Right. But I don't even know why. You don't but it's get not it. because he's they're 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 scared because they know he's a dumpster fire and Kyle sucks. It's like Ugh. then stop watching the team. Yeah. <laughs> stop watching football. Stop doing anything because you're just you're just a miserable person unless you're winning every game in the Super By Bowl. By 40 points. Which never happens. Like the Patriots did it for a little while there. And that's basically the biggest 
run that we've ever seen. And, you know, if I win, if my, if you're a lot of teams, it's like, if you win one Super Bowl during your lifetime, you're fucking pretty stoked about it. Like, you know, storied franchise for the Niners. And, and Kyle's got you right, right there. There's a good team. I think Lynch is pretty good. Do they make mistakes? Of course they make mistakes. Bill Belichick can't fucking draft to save his life. Like, <laughs> Uh, you know scheme though people make mistakes it's just it's so crazy to me but so man, you never ever made a mistake and am i and am i saying that like i'm just saying like oh i drafted all the trey lance out the yin yang and fantasy like no i have I, a lot of I, trey I, lance I do I have some like. trey lance from rookie drafts right but this year like i'm not i'm not like gung-ho on like trey's gonna be great now fantasy wise he doesn't have to be awesome to be good from the fantasy perspective, but like I am, you know, a little nervous that it might not work out, but I think I've seen some good enough and some bad. I mean, it is what it is, you know, time to tighten up those gloves. The Niners have made plays choke up a little bit on every one of those quarterbacks, the big quarterbacks that have come through, whether they, you know, openly say so or not, they've been after that, you know, Rogers and Stafford and, and Watson and, uh, Tommy and you know so it's like they're, they're they're trying they're trying to get that situated and they think Trey is the answer and they hope that they can mold him from all accounts he's supposed to be a really sharp kid a really good kid um, I, you know I think he'll be just fine as long as he doesn't turn it over that's really going to be the, the bugaboo right. and if you can if you can stay away from that and just make the smart decision I, you throw it over somebody's head on third down that's fine punt it and get the defense on the field just don't turn it over Mm -hmm. like and you already saw the difference between jimmy and trey jimmy can operate in that you know safe middle of the field the shanahan's gonna scheme people open you gotta find them but all of a sudden you saw on the danny gray uh pass in the preseason like you know all we we can all of a sudden there's there's huge plays in this offense that can be generated in in air yards perspective rather than a you know yak. than a yak perspective which there's still going to be plenty of yak and a great run game uh, but you know if all of a sudden you can get those explosive plays and you have to worry about the running quarterback which is what we're trying to what they're trying to integrate and get all together now you you're going to be one of the better you're already one of the better offenses in the league and you're going to be one of the best perennially if if Trey Lance worked out and if it doesn't <laughs> You know, it's okay. You know, the fucking, the Dolphins, everybody always loves to shit on the Dolphins and be like, well, two is not the answer because Josh Allen's in your fucking conference. But guess what? There's like one Josh Allen in the league and you guys hated him for two years. So let's fucking not, relax. not accurate, Casey. Right. Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's get out of here. Is, uh, should you have confidence in Trey Lance? Because the Niners don't. <laughs> Have the Niners lost confidence in Trey Lance? Oh, bow, bow, bow. And then a, a, a ghost thumbnail of some sorts. Mm-hmm. No, like like Ghost, the movie, uh, not a fucking oh, real yeah. ghost. We, we kid, were just talking about I, I, this. Yeah, I don't know. I, <laughs> my kid's real into ghosts right now. Really? Ooh, she'll be like, I'm a pooky ghost. I mean, I guess you put the sheet over yourself <laughs> and then run into the wall. She mostly likes to just yell boo and scare you, and then mm. she equates that to ghosts. But. Does she find it hilarious? Pretty funny. Yeah. Pretty funny. Fucking kids, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Shout out to you guys. Appreciate you joining us. Just relax. You this know. was a, you know, a, a, this was dumb. A radio, <laughs> a radio. <laughs> this was uh, what everyone was here. talking about. Right. So, but not necessarily that take. Had a little fantasy in there. So. Yeah. This was for your pleasure. We had a little time. <laughs> Just got done recording with JB. Shout out to John Bauer. Yeah, make Dynasty sure you Theory. make sure you check that out. All right, we'll be back later. With uh, we'll be back with this fucking season. Let's to the game. Go peace.